Rice is one of the most important food crops in Sierra Leone, and its cultivation serves as the key livelihood activity for many coastal communities in Sierra Leone and beyond. Over the last 20 years, rice farming has expanded into mangrove areas and the impact of this land use change on the coastal environment has been devastating. Instead of providing dependable livelihoods, rice farming is rather adding to the effects of sea level rise and high tides as mangrove forest which serves as buffers against the effects of climate change are replaced with rice farms. Community farms are at risk, increasing the threats to food security. Over the years, um, we've realized that their livelihoods are threatened and they've been cutting mangroves to cultivate rice. So that, in a sense, is also reducing the mangrove cover in the estuary of Bonshabu River area and also um, causing loss of biodiversity. So from the assessment, it's clear that um, rice farmers are being threatened as their farms are reducing in size due to rapid erosion. My name is Munda Lavali, a resident and born native of Kega. I farm in both swamp and dry land. The problem that I used to face, especially in the swamp land farming was, if I plant my rice and did not structure a fence around it with sticks that I cut from the bush, the fishes will come around and destroy the rice. The water you are now seeing was a salt water and there was a vast land all over but the water forced it away into the land and now it has taken all over even onto the bush. And our brothers used to cut sticks from afar just to fence the rice from fishes and weeds. Last year the fishes destroyed up to one bushel of rice and did not yield any good for us. To address some of these challenges, the USAID-funded West Africa Biodiversity and Climate Change WABIC program has been piloting the practice of rice mangrove integration in coastal Sierra Leone. Rice farming is a livelihood activity, so we cannot just say that people should not do it. So we are trying to find a win-win scenario where the rice farms will exist in harmony with the mangroves. That is why we introduced this concept of rice mangrove integration. We did this activity last year. This year we have come to look at it again. And so far, about 10 community members have started doing this. <laughs> Wabik came and told us to plant mangrove in front of our swampy areas where we used to plant our rice for it to prevent fishes, weeds and other water animals that used to destroy our rice and also the trees that we used to cut from the bush to the swamp for use to stop all these things from destroying our plants or rice. The mangroves will now help in doing that instead of us to suffer in cutting trees to fence. Mangroves are now used as fence instead of going to the bush to cut trees. But with the invention of Wabik, we now see the planting of mangroves easier and comfortable for us than going to the bush to cut trees for fencing. I am going to tell my families and everybody to come on board and continue planting mangroves because it helps us a lot. As our land is getting narrow, one of our brothers by the name of Mr. Amara came to us in 2017 and told us about the Wabik program of planting mangroves and we denied. But in 2018, again, they still came to us and we've now agreed to do the same as our brothers are now enjoying the benefits. Ten months after the sensitization, is this practice worth the effort? Is it scalable? And what do these community members have to say? I am a farmer and I farm in both swamp and dry land. When we went for the training for Wabik in Bonf, they told us to come and plant mangroves and we came back, started planting the mangroves. Firstly, they said, if we plant mangroves beside our swampy areas, the water that used to come and destroy or cut the bank of river will stop 
And secondly, the fishes that used to come and destroy our rice that we plant in the swamp will no longer have access to do so because they will now dwell in the mangroves to survive. After planting the mangroves, I realized that it was really good for me because before now, I used to go to the bush to cut trees and use it as fence to protect my rice from weeds. Now I have known that planting mangroves is of a good benefit to me. there has been remarkable progress considering that mangroves need time to establish and grow and what we are seeing today in the field is enough evidence that even without constant monitoring the communities can do it themselves so with minimum management we can achieve our objective of resiliency in agriculture.